Welcome back, it's me, Lou. All right, so today is gonna be a special video. Um, I am not going to unbox any of these figures, uh, so I apologize in advance for that. Uh, so what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna spotlight uh, Rhea Ripley, a WWE superstar. Um, the other day I kind of like uh, was staring at my collection of um, WWE figures and uh, you know, I saw these figures, I'm like, you know, I should just do a little video about her because I'm a huge fan of Rhea Ripley uh, since day one when she when she debuted um, at the Mae Young Classic back in 2017, and um, uh, she's just one of those wrestlers that I think is kind of like a a phenom. I think she's amazing in the ring. She has a lot of personality, and I don't know. There's a certain charm about her that I think is really awesome. So we're gonna talk about some of her figures. Um, first off, we have this. Uh, this is her rookie figure, first time in the line, uh, Rhea Ripley. So this is a basic core figure. Um, the articulation on these is not the greatest. It's very bare minimum. Uh, the, hair, the head rotates, the arms rotate, and they go outward. Uh, there is no bicep cut on the female figures. Instead, they have the single pinned um, elbow that also happen, it happens to have a swivel. Uh, she swivels at the waist, um, articulated legs, and the knees also bend. So when she debuted this look, this is when I think she really started to, um, you know, find her ground and kind of build up more of her brand. Uh, previously, when she was in NXT, um, she had a very kind of like generic look. But it wasn't until she cut her hair and started wearing all the black and the leather and the chains that she really began to stand out. And the minute she did that, I kind of knew, I'm like, you know what, that's going to be a future superstar. Uh, this figure came out back in 2020, so three years after her debut in um, at the Mae Young Classic. This was Series 114, and it's an awesome figure. I mean, it's kind of dated in terms of her look, um, but I like this figure a lot, especially since it's her rookie figure. Up next, we have her elite figure. Uh, this is a lot closer to how she looks now, um, even though nowadays she has more tattoos, has a lot more black. Uh, but this figure is amazing. She has the vest with all the metal studs. Um, I think it's the same t-shirt as this one, or at least the same design, kinda. Um, she has the slicked back hair with the shaved sides. Uh, she has the leather uh, wristbands. Uh, she's throwing up the horns. It's a great looking figure. Um, I'm so fond of this look. I, I, I remember, uh, so when NXT and WWE were in, in Chicago prior to the pandemic, this was, I think, 29th, this might have been 20, December 2019, I think. Uh, they were in town for like four days, and NXT was running the war games. And uh, she was in it, and I just remember that being such an, an amazing event. So I'm very fond of this look for her. I, it's kind of like, you know, when she first introduced this look, it gradually evolved, and it, it really hit its stride when she started looking like this. Um, uh, and on the back, uh, here are her stats. She's from Adelaide, South Australia. Her finisher is the Riptide. She stands in at 5'7". Although she looks a lot taller on TV. Maybe it's, she's wearing heels or um, maybe she, uh, thick soles. Uh, career highlights. NXT Women's Champion. NXT UK Women's Champion. I think she was the inaugural UK Women's Champion. I think. If I remember correctly. Um, and then see, here are some of her career highlights. Uh, she wrestled for... Um, she won the Rumble in uh, 2020... And then she took on Charlotte for the NXT belt at WrestleMania 36. Which brings us to this set here. Um, now this might not be the best Rhea Ripley figure by a mile. But it's definitely, I think, one of my favorites. Uh, just because of her costume here. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So this was WrestleMania um, 36, I believe. Where she took on Charlotte for the NXT title. Uh, again, these are not elite figures. These are basic core figures, so the articulation is a lot more limited. Um, I really wanted to open this one up, but in all honesty, um, I'm probably just going to keep it mint on card. 
the facial likeness to both you know uh, wrestlers it's you know it looks like who they're supposed to look like but i think they could have chosen um, better facial expressions uh charlotte's looks a little bit kind of wonky um and as for rhea ripley i had such a fanboy moment when she came out to the ring wearing this outfit and that's because let me grab this real quick Uh, her costume for WrestleMania was actually inspired by the Dragon Ball Z character Vegeta. Uh, she's a big Vegeta fan, and I remember some years ago on um, it might have been a Digital.com exclusive or maybe an exclusive to the WWE YouTube channel. Uh, they had an interview with Rhea because she was going to get her a tattoo done that day, so they followed her to the tattoo parlor. And then she was talking about, you know, how she was a fan of Dragon Ball and her favorite character was Vegeta. And then she was going to get uh, a Vegeta tattoo on her leg. So the fact that, you know, for WrestleMania, she came out dressed up as Vegeta, <laughs> I thought was the coolest thing. Um, it's not the first time either. Um, if you remember some WrestleManias ago, the New Day came out dressed up in Dragon Ball costumes also. So... Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, figures just because of that. And then here on the back uh, for Championship Showdown, um, you know, their stats, character portraits. So it's really cool. I dig this line a lot. And it's kind of funny too on the um, Elite figure. I just noticed this today. So in real life, um, Rhea Ripley is dating... Uh, Buddy Matthews, who's in AEW, he belongs to the House of Black. And then back in when he was in WWE, he was Murphy. And I, th I just thought it's kind of funny looking at this now, because um, I, I don't think this was the case when this figure came out. But this is kind of ironic that they're um, paired up next to each other on the back of the box, you know, because they're actually dating right now. So very, very interesting coincidence. All right, so with that being said, uh, let's wrap this one up. Um, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.